sleeping. I used to work six, seven days a week on my hunt project. And I was doing or building, doing something, and, and I, I just focus on that. I you was know, run over, hit by a car, and the lady just like kept going. Like the life of me down here. Man, my whole leg was twisted. Tibble busted through. You don't work, you don't have any money. How are you gonna eat? How are you gonna wash your clothes? Where are you gonna live? I didn't realize that, you know, that you rely on your benefits and then you get cut off or something like that. I guess a lot of people like flying, that's all I have to survive. Off of, it ain't much, but it's just survival. Without it, you wouldn't have anything, so how would you survive? So Social Security put him through a review process to figure out if he was still disabled. Um, they sent him to this doctor who did an exam on him and then just a few days after that exam, he got a letter saying that he was no longer disabled. In Mr. Hart's case, this was his Social Security income and disability payments were his entire livelihood. Um, and to be denied those benefits without really understanding why and not knowing how you could affect that outcome is, is really demoralizing and in many cases life-threatening. We realized that there is something wrong with this particular doctor and there was also a way that we could fix it, try to ask for relief in a, in a class action. You representing yourself and then also representing all the people who, who uh, saw Dr. Chen and had their benefits terminated. There are certain things that you can't fix one by one because the problems are just too big. Class actions like this exist to enforce accountability at the very highest levels. We know how the programs that serve low-income seniors work, and we know where the problems are. But we need our pro bono partners to provide that litigation muscle. Our partners needed the expertise and the resources that a firm like Morris & Forrester has. We had staffing, we have class action experience, and we could match resources with the Department of Justice on a case in which they were, they were fighting this uh, tooth and nail. They did not want to see this precedent made. Kevin had an absolute remarkable story and what is so poignant about it is that he was able to illustrate in a very poignant way exactly the, the wrong that happened here. Kevin is a great example of exactly the kind of voice you want to amplify. He came into the case for exactly the right reasons because he didn't want to see what happened to him happen to anybody else. That's why this class action was so important. It was, it's all a part of making sure that um, the, the safety net we have set in place actually works to help people in need. It was a difficult case. It was a complicated case a time-consuming case, and we won. Bringing a tear to my eye, I really believe that, uh, that this was a uh, absolutely worthwhile effort and an impactful one. We had a good plaintiff, we had a good case, and with Morrison and Forster, we had a terrific litigation partner. 7,000 people like Mr. Hart were denied benefits when they needed it the most. This case gives them the chance to undo that injustice and restore their benefits.